Player One, I'm Jack Red, and I decided to do one more refu for today. And instead of giving you just playing with one thing, I decided to give you something that kind of like started out as four, and then they got up, to, then they released it with another game. I am talking, of course, about Super Mario All Stars by Screw Attack. They put that as the second best Super game, only behind Super Metroid. You know what? I must disagree. I mean, you got you got Super Mario Brothers, you got Super Mario Brothers 2 uh, in Japan, which is basically to us is Super Mario Brothers: The Last Level, Super Mario Brothers 2, Super Mario Brothers 3, Super Mario World. Well, I'm sorry, World, and they're all good games. Four of them are remakes. For the fifth one, just have one minor change. See, they made Luigi appear taller and slimmer. So that way you don't get confused with which one you're playing as. The point is, um, I wanted to say a lot about it. There's so many uh, stuff they brought into this to make it so good. It's one of the best uh, I have ever seen for a video game. And I do call this thing, the, the version of it that I, I do call as, as the best Mario game is Super Mario All Stars plus Super Mario World. It's really good. I advise you to ROM it up to get it. And uh, make sure it's good because some of them are not going to be as good, even when you do cheat in them. And I have, I, and I want and I want you to know that. So when you do go get it, make sure uh, make sure you get a good working one. And I know you can get one from UBitTorrent. So that's good right there. Um, I I also want to say that um the co uh, the all the stuff that you remember from the actual games do come into this. And well, except for um. The minus the minus world um, glitch that was in the first Super Mario Bros. that was removed. But besides that, um, everything else is in there. I'm gonna uh, I'm going to do each game individually, and I, and I'm going to try to do as much as possible. The original is what is considered to be the most special video game there ever is, there ever was, ever will be, and it, it's amazing. I mean, the only game coming close to and near its actual selves is um, Tetris for the Game Boy. Now, um, then you got Super Mario Bros. The Lost Souls. This is basically, is like, it's basically a true sequel. The true to, as you will. It's very hard, um, has, has more levels. It's basically, it's kind of like, um, Second Quest for Legend of Zelda, or Master Quest for Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. But the only difference is, it gets more tense, and I, I wanted you to know that as you get into that. Super Mario Bros. 2 is what you would consider the worst sequel. I, I, I had to I had to disagree because um, I mean Hotel Mo Mario was a lot worse than than this game, even though it wasn't particularly a sequel. It was in place of a sequel. But getting back again back, um, I can see what you're complaining about. The game will, will probably will be, be and and now here's a personal fair. This was my favorite NES Mario game. Super Mario Bros. 3. This was a fun game. You got all these power-ups, all these amazing worlds, and it just made the game incredibly fun. Then you got Super Mario World, which has been said to be one of the best video games of all time. I actually had that on the actual Super Nintendo. It was a great game, and a lot of people still call it the best 2D Mario game, even though I have to call this Super Mario World Stories plus Super Mario World, the best Mario game I've ever played, and I advise all Nintendo freaks to please, please look look into what I just said and and make a good judgment about it. Do not criticize. So I do not take well the criticisms, and believe me, you will see what I'm talking about. Oh, by the way, and still doing my room for most um, reposts. I'm in my living room. Bye.